I took off the election tag, and guess what happened? My money came back. So sorry, drama frogs who were like, this is an adpocalypse. No, it's not. I don't know how the f to uh, explain this basically, but yeah, anything that is like even remotely political, remotely considered political is now automatically, it seems, qualifying you as like a political content creator. Let's get started. Before we get to some serious news, let's get started with a brief update on um, on the apocalypse, the impending doom on Twitch.tv. If you've been following um, for the past couple of months, uh, there has been a bunch of communities that have been actively trying to uh, get some news coverage and some momentum surrounding this platform that we're on being really <laughs> ironically enough. They're on YouTube and on kick for the most part. Um, oh shit, here we go again. I mean, it's not, it's not, oh shit, here we go again. I'm just like going to briefly go through it and explain some stuff. There has been, uh, there's been a deliberate effort, uh, uh, to, to basically go to every, there is a deliberate effort to go to basically every single advertiser that advertises on Twitch. Uh, please, you know, reconsider advertising on this platform. They've been doing this for quite a while um, to limited success. And uh, this is also uh, alongside the initiatives to go to ADL directly to try to get the ADL to uh, add new restrictions on what you can and can't say on this platform, including but not limited to content classification labels that were implemented. I use them right now. That's why it says sensitive content when I talk. Uh, and also uh, the, the new additional qualifications for for including but not limited um saying you know uh saying zionist now you can still talk about zionism in the new restrictions but you can't uh you can't say uh you know zionist insert uh animal for example like that's something you cannot say okay now that's it's you know it's uh it's a clear-cut caving into capitulation to uh outside organizations but uh, you know, it is what it is. I'd love for you to talk to Pirate Software about this. He's been getting fooled by Lacey Misgive clips. Yeah. So what's interesting about it is that there were some content creators, including but not limited to the stock guy uh, and, and Lacey and many other people like FaZe Lacey, FaZe uh, Ronaldo, uh, the stock guy. And, and numerous other content creators who had said that they were noticing like a severe revenue loss, right? I think Moon Moon had said something about it as well. And some of these guys were basically, some of these guys were basically uh, memeing, like they were just meta chasing, which is what happens. And then there was also very real, uh, there were very real instances of people losing all of their advertising revenue, like Kason, who's also another phase member. Kason is Iranian. I had a conversation with him directly, if you remember. Uh, and he had Iranian as a tag. He had Iranian as a tag on his, uh, on his Twitch profile for the longest time because he's Iranian and he wants Iranian uh, people to come and watch him. And basically they had just, uh, or no, Iran as a tag, sorry. Um, basically Twitch just removed all of their advertising revenue and didn't serve any ads on his, uh, on his page specifically because it Iran as a tag. Same with Venezuela which I think is really, you know, it's really f***ed up overall. But the point is, all of this is happening because Twitch is uh, uh, caving to outside pressure coming from, you know, these organizations like the ADL and, and hoping that, like, advertisers don't just, like, run away from the platform because these guys are pretty aggressively pursuing that. And uh, all, everything, everything is coming from, like, an incredibly cynical place. Obviously, these are like kick streamers that are conducting this uh, mass brigading campaign. Um, ironically enough, and as I say this as someone who has uh, quote unquote woke, right? Uh, who has uh, been on every platform from Facebook to YouTube to Instagram to TikTok to Twitch. That uh, Twitch, of course, has the most restrictive uh, terms of service out of all of these other websites. They do a fantastic job with that, which is why it's ironic that these other platforms where there is no real rigorous application of terms of service can turn around and be like, these guys are actually the real anti-Semites. I promise. Don't look at us, look at them, uh, and, and pull your ads. So it's a weird, 
you know, it's a weird situation overall. But I think a lot of people were a little confused. And uh, originally, the stock guy had said that he had seen a severe loss of revenue and he didn't understand what was going on. But it turns out the severe loss of revenue came from the fact that he had an election tag from his stream because he was covering the election. I went to my tags and my tags were, um, you know, my normal tags. But I had a tag that said election because I had covered the market's reaction to the election, not politics, not personal politics, not not policy, just the market's reaction. And so Friday before stream, I decided to take that tag off. I took off veteran as well, just in case. <sighs> and guess what? It came back. Yeah. So there's not a fucking ad apocalypse. I never said there was an ad apocalypse. I said that I'm being affected by other people's shit. And so what did I do? I took off the election tag and guess what happened? My money came back. So sorry, drama frogs who were like, this is an ad apocalypse. No, it's not. No, it's not. It is a advertising thing that is happening with a specific subset on the platform. And I took it off and guess what? I'm back. I so are there any real reports of people with the LGBTQ tags losing ads as well? I haven't seen that. But the Iran Persian tags also lower the revenue. If you remember, Saeed from No Pixel RP had his ad revenue lower from 3K a month to 1K. Then he removed them today. Tomorrow his revenue should be better. There's an example if you want to use. Yeah, it's 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 basically um it's basically people it's basically people just like uh trying to navigate this space to the best of their ability when um i don't know how the f to uh explain this basically but yeah anything that is like even remotely political remotely considered political is now automatically it seems qualifying you as like a political content creator and if you are in that political content creator category it seems like they still haven't because it's a new category they automatically don't have ads on that category they will eventually have ads on that category as well but because it's a new category they haven't started serving ads to that category but right now as it stands there's no ads if you are uh doing political commentary now of course it doesn't uh it, it you know this doesn't bother me at all because uh, knowing that this is uh, this was always an inevitable possibility, I have uh, always worked on ensuring that I have uh, that that my primary revenue source is subscribers. You guys, I don't work with advertisers that I don't feel like I want to work with. I don't work with advertisers usually anyway, and this is uh, you know a part of that. So I'm a firm believer that the political tax should not be monetized by ads because this channel could be ad free. Yeah, um, overall, I think it's really, uh, I mean, it's really frustrating in general, but um, this is part of the reason why for years and years I have maintained the position that it's like a much better way to to have uh, editorial control and, and have more freedom with what you can and can't say uh, if you are to work with a base of subscribers rather than rely on, you know, running ads. Thank you, Majority Report, for the raid. Hope you had a good stream. It's, it's very frustrating, though, for smaller content creators who are up and coming, who are in this space, who want to, uh, you know, generate income for themselves or have been relying on the income uh, for themselves. I think it's like, it, it's really messed up that uh, those guys end up getting f***ed over by this process. It, as is the case with everything else, like this only harms smaller content creators, but of course, seemingly no one gives a shit about them. And it's very, very, very frustrating. Um, but overall, uh, you know, advertisers don't really look at, uh, anything super seriously. They don't want any sort of, uh, they don't want any sort of motion. Like they don't, they're not going to like, they're not going to assess the situation and be like, Hmm, is this cynical or is this serious? Uh, they're not going to do that. Right. This doesn't mean there isn't a concerted brigade effort cynically mass spamming emails to advertisers urging them to pull ads. There very clearly is one. Ironically enough, it's being led by kick streamers who happen to have a contract with kick. Very interesting predicament. So that is the case here. Uh, that's what's going on here. But um, yeah, so far there hasn't been any like real, uh, so far there hasn't been any real evidence as to this being like a mass uh, adpocalypse. But I mean, look, I'm not, I know how advertisers work, right? I'm, I'm familiar with how advertisers work. I worked in advertising. I know that when they hear any sort of drama or any sort of controversy, they're going to be like, oh, I don't want my brand associated with that. I don't even give a shit what it is, right? Nobody, until it's like Black Lives Matter uh, uh, protests happening all around the, uh, 
all around the nation, you're never going to see uh, a, a marketing campaign that, you know, puts politics in the forefront. Okay. So for that reason, I think the CCL designation isn't necessarily bad. Like the new content classification label for politics is not bad because I think it partitions off political commentary in a separate space on this platform. I think it's bad in the interim period. And it's bad because like, of course, when they apply something like this, uh, randomly people catch strays like Kason and like some others. But um, overall, making sure that this kind of content still exists as long as it does not violate clear-cut, uh, you know, hate speech uh, uh, boundaries, uh, this kind of content existing in a separate category that is sheltered from the rest of the advertising that's running on the platform is a good thing, okay? It's, it's, not a, it's not necessarily a bad thing at all because I don't want content creators on this platform to, I don't want content creators on this platform to like lose out on revenue opportunities for themselves, right? I don't. I want them to keep making money and make a career out of this sort of thing. And I think it's ridiculous that, um, I think it's ridiculous that like there are uh, people who are championing this cause. So yeah, Trump has declared a national or said he's going to do a national emergency. Is there anything Twitch can do vis-a-vis -vis people representing Kick, like a co-founder or contracted talent on their platform regarding Twitch advertisers in this way? Um, I think Twitch just needs to do PR, right? They need to do more PR to, to combat this like ridiculous narrative. But I don't know, um, you know, I don't know what they're doing uh, overall. Is the apocalypse both a subsequent issue because of Islamophobia and anti-Semitism? No, uh, Islamophobia is not a reason for the apocalypse. I don't think it's a, a reason for the apocalypse. If anything, uh, Asmongold being banned primed his audience to maybe take action and join the cause and join other communities that were already brigading. But there is no real, like, as far as I know, as far as I understand so far, there is no real apocalypse. okay? A lot of the content creators that said that they uh, reported loss of, like, massive loss of revenue have either openly admitted that they were farming, joking, uh, or whatever the f There was a clip from, uh, there was a clip from specifically uh, 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 Max Faze, uh, Black Boy Max, who was talking about how, like, Lacey and, and Ron are just clip farming and they shouldn't do that because, uh, they shouldn't do that because, like, there's, you know, people like Kason who are uh, legitimately uh, experiencing, like, a loss of revenue because they're catching strays. Here, here it is, yeah. Literally got demonetized because of who he is. So did X. Now, Twitch, fix that. Two, see, because I don't want to start no problems, and it's not that big of a deal to start problems, but... And when this rage bait type shit happens, when this happens, it causes people to take Kason's situation less serious. When it's actually something yeah. serious, he didn't get money for no reason. So please be aware of that, okay? Ron, I don't, I don't know Ron shit, but this is, he's rage baiting, okay? This is not serious. Ron rage baited too, that's also not serious. Please don't take these niggas serious. And it, it kind of make, it belittle case on situation or if X go through it, when it is serious, they didn't get paid, you know? Like case on dead ass is going through that. So yes, please, please, Twitch. Case on Yeah. Ron was in clip farming. Twitch had the political tag on a stream because he was watching the election. Oh, okay. Anyway. Um, did you see Ludwig's video about this? I thought it was more serious than it is after watching this, uh, watching his video. Yeah, I didn't watch Ludwig's video on this at all, but I also know more than he does on this issue. I'm on the platform. I talk to other content creators on the platform and I'm also very, like, I am probably the, other than like Destiny and, and Dan Saltman, the people who have conducted this campaign and maybe to a certain degree, Ethan Klein, I am probably the most knowledgeable party on what is actually happening. So, uh, yeah, no, I don't see any reason of, uh, I don't see any reason to watch Ludwig's video where it very clearly is like uninformed. Um, especially considering that he himself, uh, <laughs> was, was duped by a misgive clip farm that he, I, I guess, uh, deleted as well from his YouTube video as I, uh, learned about yesterday morning. So, you know, no disrespect. I love Lud. Uh, Ludwig is the goat. And I find it very funny that people find it in their heart to hate on a guy when he is basically a golden retriever. Um, straightforwardly, he is one of the most mathematically likable people on the planet. So whenever people get mad at him, I'm like, that's insane. Like you have to be 
so far off base to just be like hating on this fucking guy. Like uh, he is, he's a dork. He's funny. Uh, and he is a well-natured person. It is wild to get mad at him. It just feels weird. So that's neither here nor there, but I think it says a lot about people. I also work in advertising with accounts that spend millions a month. You're right that execs won't do any due diligence and touch platforms that have any sort of controversy. Exactly. But I think like, I think like the platform taking actions to just say like, no, this kind of content exists on the platform, but in a totally separate vacuum is an appropriate thing to do because then they can go back to advertise and be like, yeah, uh, this kind of stuff is whatever. It's neither here nor there. Uh, we don't, here's our terms of service. We don't allow any sort of like extremist sentiment. And also even then, uh, we have different content classification labels. There's like international standards for this sort of stuff. Some of which is very, uh, some of it is very strict and is like straightforwardly anti-free speech. Um, and I think, um, I think for them, they're just uh, doing their very best uh, to, to uh, work through this process. This is the same conversation that happened with Smush streamers. Yeah, um, except that didn't really, uh, that didn't, they didn't take it to that level with um, the difference between, the difference between um, what's going on right now versus like hot tub streamers is that there wasn't one group of people there wasn't one group of people that were like clipping, you know, Amaranth streamer or whatever and sending it to every advertiser to be like, uh, Doritos, your ads are running against these, uh, you know, these, these hot tub streamers. Uh, do you feel like it's appropriate? You know, do you feel like it's appropriate to, and then lie basically to like in this circumstance, they would have to lie as well and, and claim that they're doing nudity or whatever. And not just like in a hot tub, if they were to do that, then I'm sure there would have been a similar level of motion to that as well. Yeah. And Congress people were not, you know, writing with the congressional letterhead, uh, letters to Twitch talking about, and Amazon talking about like Amaranth's, um, Amaranth's hot tub streams must be, uh, put to an end or whatever. Are you thinking of taking a break from Twitch? All this controversy must be exhausting, especially after being on Twitch for so many years. Fuck no. Um, I love how everybody think you got Lowry to remove a part of his video, though you never even watched it. Yeah. That part is, that part of the conversation is somewhat tangentially related to what I'm talking about here as well, but that is just an unfortunate uh, byproduct of, of easily brigadable subreddits that still play somewhat of a formative role in the way that people understand what's going on in the platform. Everyone is busy. This is a principle that I've hold on, held on to for a very long time. Everyone's busy, so they don't have time to like investigate this stuff thoroughly, and so when enough people can go and brigade a subreddit where like people can just like quickly try to figure out what the fuck's going on and every single comment is like aligned in a certain perspective then yeah of course uh people are not going to look into it a little bit uh they're not going to look into it any further they're just going to take it for granted that like um i hold the 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 purse for twitch i hold the i'm the puppeteer of twitch and also simultaneously am the reason why there is an apocalypse happening because i'm uh, a, a lover of, of, uh, terrorism and also a massive anti-Semite. Now, of course, all of that is untrue, but it doesn't really matter. I speak for eight to 10 hours a day. You can clip me out of context to make it seem like I'm in, I'm on board with anything really at that point. I talk about a litany of different issues, so it is what it is, but I do think that, you know, even people, even people who could have had like direct access to someone like myself to ask me what they think is going on. Like Ludwig uh, are, can sometimes get duped by miskiff <laughs> clip farming uh, and, and trying to uh, get a, uh, a uh, upvoted Reddit post on LSF.